Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. The lens is much cleaner now. Somebody noticed that it was smudged and I, I thought I cleaned it off, but I guess what I used wasn't very good to clean with. It made it smudgy. So, looks better now. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. I am not feeling myself today, guys, so I need some sunshine and fresh air. <laughs> I think I think I need that. But right now I feel like going back to bed. Seriously. Like my energy is like But we're gonna go ahead and get this reading out of the way. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. We got a ten of swords. An Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, a Tower, Moon, Devil, Empress, or the High Priestess, my bad, and the Hangman. Okay. So there was an ending that took place with a Emperor, um, a Father, a husband, a boss. Could be a boss because we do have work involved here. And then we have juggling. Now either this might have been a fire or a quit. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Somebody either got fired or quit. They had too many things on their plate. Now they don't know what they're going to do. So they're stuck. Okay. This is more or less with the devil and the moon here. I feel a lot of worry and a lot of being, not being able to see the way forward. Um... There are manipulation tactics at work here. There's somebody here who is trying to... If you haven't quit already, they're trying to make you quit. Like I said, could be a boss. Let's get some clarity. Ten of Swords. What's that all about, Spirit? What's that all about? Hopefully I'll feel better by tomorrow night for our live. I may not do any videos tomorrow. I may save the strength up for the live at 7. Justice. Yep. Okay. So, this may even turn into a legal matter. Considering we have Justice, the King of Swords the star and the strength card here. This may be a situation where you might have to take someone to court or you literally work in the legal field. I feel like something has been held up here, something that you tried to manifest due to this legal situation it might be of no fault of your own because there's a king of swords here could be an aquarius or a leo this person has messed with something here something that has to do with work and it's causing you a tower moment and a ten of swords an ending of some kind Let's find out what it is. What is this Eight of Pentacles spirit? I'm sorry I'm not my giggly self today, but damn. I think I'm sleeping in front of the air conditioner too much or something. Wow. So, this might be not an ending, but... Eight of Pentacles.
is definitely an ending. I think you found another job. And you might have rushed into that job without thinking about it too much. But it was something that you loved to do. And you're, real, you're willing to travel the distance to get it. Two of Pentacles. What's that all about? Yeah, I think I'm just going to rest all day tomorrow. Maybe see if there's some sunshine I can stand in somewhere. Today I'm feeling... Uh, been icky Ooh. who is this two of pentacles you cut off two of pentacles on the two of pentacles so maybe you're juggling two jobs right now and you're ready to leave one of them because of the manipulation and the bullshit that you have to go through in one of these the other one looks way more attractive and way more honest so I, I feel like you're juggling maybe two jobs here and one of them you love the other one not so much there may be legal issues at that one so I feel like you do have a very attractive offer here and you're trying to make up your mind on what you want to do as the Queen of Cups you want to do what you love which, you know, could be a pipe dream. It could be, it could be just a dream. But follow your dreams, guys. I'm serious. They will, if they don't take you exactly where you want to go, they will definitely lead you down a path that is more, what do I want to say? Attractive and feels better than somebody manipulating you. I feel like somebody's using your name illegally here. Maybe on paperwork or something at this job. Okay, so this tower is this brand new beginning with this King of Cups. So we got a Queen of Cups and a King of Cups here. And an ace of pentacles. You don't know whether to take this this offer seriously or not. Two of pentacles on two of pentacles. It's like you're not sure whether you should take this before this person has done something in the past that made you not trust them. But they're offering you a brand new beginning. But you only have a limited amount of time to take it before they hire someone else. Possibly a masculine in your place if you're a feminine. Could be either way, you know. Could be male on male, female on female. Doesn't have to be. I feel like this moon is that you don't know what to do about this because it has to happen fast and you're not sure if you're ready to take this leap yet because I don't see a leap of faith here. I see you still being controlled by whatever this first situation is. Even though it's over, you don't, you don't want anything to do with it anymore. You've been betrayed. You've been hurt. I think you've been betrayed and hurt by both of them. You just want to stay in your Empress energy and not have to mess with nobody. Why everybody got to mess with you? We got, a, we got a Queen of Pentacles here. Empress, Creatrix. I'm creating my own damn world. Past life soulmate or not. I am bringing back something I love from the dead. 
So if this is a chance you're taking on your own business, doing something that you love, this is your judgment. This is what you want. As far as as far as I can see, you know, free will and all. You make the decisions you need to make, but these are just messages that I give you to help you make up your mind. What is this devil about, Spirit? What is this devil about? It's a Capricorn. Capricorn, Libra. What else we got here? Leo, Aquarius, and uh, Jupiter. Libra. We got Libra twice. Pisces. Pisces twice. Okay. So this devil. High Priestess. Wow. There's something going on here, guys. We're going to have to figure out what it is. Because you're being watched. Something you're doing is being watched. It has to do with your intuition and a page of cups. A choice and a choice that has to be made fast. Ace of Wands. Brand new beginning. This choice is like, it's, it's like being made so fast that you're not seeing this devil. Please pay attention to the red flags here. Somebody is tempting you to do something that you wouldn't normally do. And you know this. With that high priestess, you have a, that gut feeling, that feeling that you, you know something ain't quite right with this. You got the high priestess twice. You know something ain't quite right with this. Whether it be this situation or this one. Or both. What is the High Priestess about? Scorpio. Why can't you guys just live happily ever after and, and have to deal with all this fuckery? Okay, so this is this is a this is an offer. All right. You see this offer. You see the betrayal behind it. But the betrayal took a long time to happen. You had a relationship with one of these people. You're trying to fix that. But this Ten of Swords twice tells me that this is over. You may have like like a sexual um, case against this person. I'm feeling that real strong with the Four of Swords here and the Six of Wands. This person may have sexually, what is that called, um, harassed you. And you're putting a stop to it. You're taking them to court. You're trying to do what you love. Instead, might not be as much money, but it's a new start in the truth as opposed to living in a lie where somebody was maybe sexually harassing you or sexually manipulating you into trying to stay in a position where you were not happy anymore because of the manipulation, because you felt like your hands were tied, you were making good money, you didn't want to quit. I understand. But now here's this other offer. It's not as much money, and you have to decide quickly, which is also a chain kind of to the devil, because it's not giving you enough time to think. You've got to the end of Gemini season, which is mid-month. By the Sagittarius full moon on like the 15th or 16th, something like that. It will help you heal. It will help you heal from the situation here. 
The only thing that's really toxic about it is the fact that you have to, you know, accept this quickly without having time to decide. If you have savings, uh, that would probably be a good idea before you make this decision. Just because you never know, this might be like a, you know, commission job where you have to wait and you have to start making commissions. So sometimes you only get paid once a month for those. But there's definitely some kind of situation here that is causing you a lot of distress. Like I said, I feel sexual harassment. I don't know why. And here we go again. Man. Ace of, Ace of Swords. So this is the truth and nothing but the truth. You are stuck. You don't know what to do about this. You know that you know this person's lying to you. You're ready to walk away. It's got you so stressed out. I feel like you're you're like the alopecia has happened, like your hair is falling out and and you're you're not being able to sleep. Because of this consideration of walking away from this situation. You're scared. That's why you have the hanged man or hanged woman twice with the nine and seven of swords. And then we have the eight of cups and the Virgo walking away and going within. You're trying to figure out what you should do here. Man, I wish I could tell you. Let's see what this uh, these offers are. Let's see what this new offer is. What is this new offer? Is it worth them losing a very good paying job even though mm, there's fuckery going on? healing here there's money here it might like I said it might not be as much money as you're used to because they go to the eight eight of Pentacles to the five of Pentacles in reverse then we have the magician the seven of swords again this is I feel like this is you trying to get away from this other situation looking over your shoulder to make sure it's not following you and rushing into the situation that will possibly give you this healing and this victory that you so desperately need right now and a brand new beginning. That's the best answer I can come up with for you on this situation, guys. Get a personal if you have any questions because this is... This is kind of a crazy situation. You got one boss harassing you. You got the other one trying to make you promises that they might not be able to keep because, like I said, it could be some kind of commission job. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a court case here. Despair. That means somebody is going to lose a job. Maybe even officially. We have an official person. Ooh. You might have this person arrested. For what they've done. They've caused you to lose quite a bit. And they've used you. This person is here to help. Okay? I, th I think you're sneaking away from this other situation and you're about to press charges against this person for whatever they've done. And this other person is giving you a way out where there wasn't one before. You're going to bring something back from the dead that's going to help you get ahead. You have an Ace of Pentacles and an Ace of Wands. 
So you with with the magician. So you are manifesting a new outcome, but in the meantime, you are keeping quiet about whatever it is that you're doing with this other person, because I think you're about to have them arrested for harassing you. Yeah, this person has an obsession, a passionate obsession with you. And, uh, yeah, they may have even said, hmm, contract or no contract, I kind of like you, babe. I stare at you all the time. They're creepy. Ooh, they're creepy. You're receiving what you need, though. You're talking to somebody else, and you're, you're trying to work this out before you get stabbed in the back by this other person when they find out what you're up to. Because this person is like almost like leaving you no choice but to put, put, to put up with the, the creepiness. That's not cool. That's so not cool. Don't put up with creepy. Mm -mm. Alright, so let's do this. Shadow messages from each sign. Aries. I'm tired. I love in myself enough to walk away. Wonderful. Taurus, I focused on you instead of my pain. Gemini, I took the easy way out. Of course you did. Cancer, sometimes I hear your voice. Leo, I want to tell you so much. Virgo, I know you more than you think. Libra, thank you for leaving me. You're welcome. Scorpio, you aren't part of my plan. Sagittarius, I was careless with you, indeed. Capricorn, I know we have a soul connection. <laughs> I'm just saying. Aquarius, yes, it's too late. Pisces, I fear that you will reject me. And your all-around message to everyone is, I'm waiting for an apology, bitches. <laughs> I got a little bit of humor in there anyways. Like I said, I think I'm going to go lay it back down. It is cloudy and nasty out today. I'm not feeling right. I don't know why. I haven't the last couple of days. I think it's just allergies, really. I've been taking medicine, but it's not helping. If anything, it's making me a little, a little. So, anyway, I hope that helps somebody, especially in a work situation. Please remember to smash that like button and like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. at the live. I don't think I'm doing any videos tomorrow, guys. I'm just going to rest, okay? So I can, I don't know what's going on. I just, last few days I haven't felt so great. It could be, like I said, it could be the weather. It could be where I live. I don't know. But I love you, and I will see you very, very soon. Mwah. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Be there or be square.